All right, guys, today we're going to be taking a look at my EDC. I feel like we haven't talked about it in a while, and it has changed in quite a few ways. And of course, with me wanting to gravitate this channel more towards everyday carry stuff, I thought it would be best to start out with an EDC setup and kind of go over what I carry for everyday carry, what I usually carry in my pockets. Now, one thing I do want to note here is that I am an EDC collector of many different things, firearms, knives, flashlights, pens all that fun stuff even watches so i do have multiple of most of these items aside from maybe the smartwatch and the phone um, so i do rotate things on a fairly frequent basis but by and large this edc setup is what i am usually carrying on most days unless there's a special application or activity so with something like my firearm might change to a subcompact if i am going running but usually during my everyday carry uh, or my everyday life these are going to be the primary items so with that out of the way uh with with that out of the way please don't forget to comment like share subscribe check out the patreon the instagram and don't forget to hit the bell if you want to see more fun content just like this Okay, well, let's jump into it. So the first thing, and you guys won't actually be able to see my face for this, but I get a lot of comments, primarily probably from haters, but a lot of people say that I don't actually carry all of this stuff on me at one time. So I figured I would show you guys how this actually looks for the most part on my body. So most of the time for me, and I can't necessarily say for everyone, but most of the time I actually wear Fiel Raven Vita Pro pants. And that's what you see here. I have different flavors different colors of them but usually these are my go-to pants for everyday carry and just life in general they're super comfy and they have enough pockets for me and i like how they set up so starting off on this side we have the knife so whether it's this strider smg or another knife this is carried on the right side of course i have my phone here in this pocket so got my phone there of course my water bottle will not be on my body but i usually carry it around and of course my watch is right there going down to this other pocket here is where i will carry my uh where i will carry my wallet and of course where i will also carry my lighter so there's that then moving to this side of my pockets starting at the top will be my pen and my light and of course in this pocket as well and of course in this pocket as well will be my truck key. So that is what's in that pocket. And then there's actually nothing usually in this big pocket. Sometimes I'll put things in it, but there's not usually anything. And then down below that will be where I keep my multi-tool. So that is how I carry everything on me. Then of course, I do appendix carry my Glock 19. So for those wondering, you know, that is how everything is set up. And as you can see, literally, this is how it is all on my body. So anyways, guys, now let's actually jump into the carry itself. Okay, so now let's jump into the carry. So let's start off with the first few things. Of course, my watch is the Apple Watch Series 5. This one is in an OtterBox uh, case for it, so a bump case. And of course, I am running an aftermarket, uh, not solo loop, but just the regular loops. I do have a Nike loop as well. Sometimes I'll use it, but I rotate back and forth through all my different colors of looped uh, bands, but usually I will run those. Next that is my phone. This is just an Apple uh, iPhone 11 Pro Max. Same old one I've had for many years now. Actually, I think just a couple, but really do like it. Pretty big phone and it still has a great battery. So that's what I like about it. Okay, so next few things are going to be just, uh, so the next few accessories, so to speak, are going to be my watch, pen, and key so of course i'm just carrying my tacoma key this is for the tacoma that i'm sitting on right now and this is a aftermarket case for the wireless or not wireless but keyless uh, key fob itself this is just made by ajt and it is in voodoo blue with purple um, kind of with purple screws so that is the key itself then i have a big idea design tie click pen so that is this guy right here this titanium pen is super super light i really do like it and uh, it's just in this blacked out convert or configuration next one is going to be the phoenix ld30 now my 
Now my flashlight is probably set to upgrade here pretty soon. I usually upgrade my flashlights either every year or every couple years, kind of depending on the technology. I really just aim for the smallest flashlight that has a high, that has a very high output and good battery life. And so I really do like the LD30 for that. It has good output and it has good life and it is still a really compact flashlight. So that is this guy. I did modify the clip a little bit because it did have a kind of um, U-shaped clip that came over like that, but it kept getting bent out and caught on things. So I ended up taking that portion off and bending the clip back to be more just like a normal standard clip. Aside from that though, that's the Phoenix LD30. Lastly, in the probably not exciting category is the Zippo lighter. Now I do have a few different flavors of Zippos. Like I've said in the past, you know, I kind of collect EDC items, but for me, for the most part, I usually just run this plain boring satin Zippo lighter and I'm not really a smoker. Uh, so I just use this for kind of survival or just having it for survival. I keep it topped off and keep on top of it. So I do use it sometimes for doing paracord projects, as you guys can see. With the channel, you know, a lot of my knives have paracord lanyards and stuff. So I do sometimes use it for paracord projects, but for the most part, just keep it around for survival. Having a hardy lighter, uh, it does not last the longest, but at the same time too, um, with my use, I usually can get about a month off of a fuel, uh, a good fueling. And so I just usually top it off every month and make sure that it's good to go, especially in the winter and fall months like it is now. So last part is probably not as exciting is going to be the wallet itself. So for me, this is a Open Seas leather cam wallet. And uh, this one's primarily designed to be a lightweight, compact kind of card holder wallet. And for the most part, it does have the ability to carry cash in this middle kind of slit. Usually I just carry my hunting license and stuff like that in that middle portion, but you can carry cash in there as well. And then you have a good couple decks here for for carrying about three cards each. They will comfortably hold about three cards. Um, I will say the titanium apple card is a little bit thicker than most cards, so it doesn't quite work as well with the whole three card thing. But uh, yeah, you can carry about three cards in, the, in each of these kind of uh, areas, and then you can carry, I usually carry two forms of ID, so usually my student ID for college, and then my driver's license for my other ID. So that's how I run this guy configured, and uh, it's pretty lightweight, pretty simple setup, and I think it's just overall a really nice looking wallet. Really do like Open Seas leather, and the cam is definitely my go-to wallet from them. I do have a few others. Once again, do have a lot of things in my collection, but um, by and large, the uh, cam is definitely my favorite. And usually, once again, I tend to be more of a fan of card holder wallets as opposed to, you know, big bifold, trifold wallets that uh, carry cash in them. Okay, so now let's get over to the cutty tools or the tools I use for cutting for the most part. Starting off, of course, is largely unchanged my Leatherman Charge Plus. Now this is the Sportsman's Warehouse Edition or exclusive, what they call G10 Earth Edition. So essentially it's a G10 scaled Charge Plus with an S30V main blade and uh, it's all blacked out. I do really like this version. I think it looks really nice. And ultimately I really just like the black G10 or black and brown G10, even though the brown is very hard to see in it. But it does come with an S30V blade and of course the fully serrated blade with the gut hook on it. And overall, I can't really ask for a better multi-tool. The Charge Plus is my go-to everyday carry multi-tool. I do really like my Surge for outdoors use, but for the EDC or for just daily kind of more urban living, um, the Charge Plus is really fantastic. And for me, even though some people dislike that the G10 is a little bit more flexible, um, I really do like the Texture G10 because you'll find on a lot of the um, metal or steel handled uh, Leathermans, they are very slick. And so that uh, kind of Texture G10 really does add a bit of grip to the to the multi-tool and I really appreciate it, even though it does have a little bit of flex in the handles. So that is my multi-tool of choice. Really do love this guy. It is one of my favorite uh, multi-tools. And ever since I got it, I think about a year and a half ago, I have not put it down. 
Okay, next is the knife. Now for me, this is a Strider SNG, and this one is with the G10 gunner grip, and then of course it just has the flame anodized side with that awesome Strider uh, tiger stripe blade. Now this knife is one of my newer kind of high-end EDC knives to the collection, but I do run a lot of other knives, everything from a Spyderco Para 3 and a Mini Grip from Benchmade, all the way up to, of course, Hinders, uh, CRKs or Chris Reeves, and like I said, the Strider. But the Strider SNG has been spending the most amount of time in my pocket. Just really enjoy carrying it, and it is a very carryable knife for me, and I do like how well it performs for me most of the time. So really nice knife and it is just overall fun one to carry. I've wanted a Strider for quite some time. So adding it to my collection, I think back in May of this year, I added this guy. So kind of new, not super new of course, but uh, definitely fun to carry and I like having it around. Pretty soon here, I'm going to also add an Inkosi to the mix up as well from Chris Reeve. So we will see which one gets more pocket time, the large Inkosi or the Strider SNG. I'm not really quite sure at this point because I do really like the Nkosi. And while I haven't been searching super hard for an Nkosi, I finally found one and uh, finally made it all work out. So now I have that one in the collection. Certainly by the time you guys see this video, I will have that guy. So maybe the Nkosi will be the new EDC knife by the time you guys see this video. But for sure, the Strider is also pretty epic and I do really enjoy EDCing it. Okay. Next up on the list is going to be the firearm and firearm setup. So before we get into the firearm and firearm setup, I'll talk about the rig. So this rig itself is a T-Rex arms inside the waistband holster. Now this is one of their older versions. They have sw since switched to a kind of pivot design between their attachments such as magazine holders and the holster itself. But this one's a little bit older but still completely fine and actually pretty darn comfortable. If you know me, I really do like my leather rigs but I have been EDCing this uh, T-Rex holster just really to see. I know these holsters are super, super hyped up nowadays and T-Rex, they are a good YouTube channel if you don't know who they are. Definitely recommend checking them out. But I really wanted to see, you know, with all these people talking about the T-Rex holsters, I was like, fine, I'm gonna check one out. So of course, like I said, this one's a little bit older, but it does also have the magazine holster built into it. So I'm running a Glock 19 round magazine. So this is a 17 round mag with the plus two base plate from borrowed from my Glock 19X. And uh, so that is the extra magazine. That is the holster itself. And now to talk about the gun, I'm gonna make this gun clear because like I said, this is my EDC. So it's carried with one in the chamber. And of course this is a Glock 19. So I am carrying it with its factory flush fit 15 round magazine with a round in the chamber. For those wondering about the round itself, it's an under, underwood arms or underwood ammo sorry plus p plus nine millimeter it's a 24 grain hollow point and uh, i can't quite remember the feet per second though i think it's like 1300 feet per second it's a plus p plus loading so it's a very very spicy bullet um, anyways that is the bullet that i'm carrying in this gun but as far as the handgun itself goes this is an aftermarket barrel aftermarket slide and of course so of course this isn't quite your stock so as far as the handgun goes itself, this is a generation four Glock 19, and it has quite a few things to it. Of course, this isn't quite your standard Glock 19. So it has an aftermarket barrel, aftermarket slide. It has a Trigicon RMR on it for red dot. And then of course it has a magazine flare or flared magazine well for faster reloads. So it's a little bit of a Gucci Glock uh, as most people would know them, but it is pretty fantastic. I did recently get this one and I have been using it and really enjoying it. And ultimately I'm trying to get more into uh, Red Dot equipped or RDS equipped handguns. I've wanted to for quite some time. So I have another one that I EDC as well, but this one is a Red Dot equipped gun and it is pretty fantastic. So I will have an individual video detailing this gun. I'm not gonna go over all the custom parts in it in this video, but rest assured it is quite a custom Glock and it is pretty darn cool. 
and I do really enjoy shooting it, carrying it, and uh, yeah. So that is the handgun for carry. Okay, last up on the list is this very crazy looking water bottle, but it's just a hydro flask, just a white hydro flask with the little straw lid thing. Um, nothing too fancy there, but staying hydrated is important at all times. So that is this guy. Anyways, that has been my whole EDC, what I usually carry on the daily. Hopefully you got, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and uh, hopefully you guys will continue to enjoy the everyday carry uh, setups, videos, and more content that I want to bring. As always, guys, God bless and I'm out.